in horsepower right there. So what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. So I just happened to have that extra STI badge laying around the garage and I thought it'd be kind of funny to throw it on the BRZ. Instant, instantaneously like another 40, 50 horsepower in that car now. Ooh, those badges, man, no joke. But today, more work is going on with the STI. Like I've told you guys multiple times in the past, we are gonna be using a Haltech Elite 2500 in the car. I haven't bought the ECU yet, I haven't done anything like that. It's an expensive ECU, I think it's like $3,000 for this ECU. I gotta save up for a couple weeks to be able to buy this thing. Uh, but before we even buy the ECU, I still gotta buy the clutch and all this other like stuff to just to get the, like, the engine mounted up in there. But today I wanna get the stock fuse box and ECU out of the car. That's the game plan for today is to get the ECU and the fuse box out. Dude, my zipper never stays up on these pants. So, um, I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea how to pull any of this out, but we're gonna figure it out. So our fuse box is right here. We have like all these extra commingled wires and everything for the alternator and stuff like that. And then it runs through the fender up into the inside of the car. So I'm hoping we don't have to take the entire dash out, but if we have to take the entire dash out, we will, I would rather not. And then we have our other engine harness over here, which I need to, that goes to the MAF sensor. So that whole harness that goes into that bulkhead right there is gonna have to come out too. After that, I think we're pretty much set and ready in the engine bay. I did order paint to be able to paint like all these non blue stuff, blue stuff. I'm just, I'm just painting it all blue. I figured it'd be easier just to touch up the engine bay and do it, redo it blue. Uh, Grim Speed sells a World Rally blue paint for, I think I paid like 19 bucks for it or something like that. So that way we can just come in here. We can sand all this off a little bit, get it cleaned up and then paint that uh, World Rally blue just to match everything else. So um, I know immediately for this fuse box here, we've got like one bolt down here. We got a couple like bolts going around the fuse box. I want to get that unbolted first. So that way we can kind of finoodle it uh, from that corner up and like over here. So that way we can start like figuring out like how to pull a lot of this wiring harness stuff off because there's a lot of sensors that go from that fuse box over here uh the main harness over here seems pretty easy it's pretty much undone for the most part we have our math sensor that just kind of runs right down there so let me get started on getting like the math sensor pulled out uh getting like this harness that comes like up here pulled out and like tucked back up there so that way we can start like figuring out all of this still so let me let's start up here then we'll work inside of the car. I'm hoping that I don't have to pull the dash out, but if I have to, we will. What have I gotten myself into? Wiring is always scary. Wiring's always the scariest part. That's a lot of wiring. That's not even all the wiring. So I found a couple things out. Like I said, I'm new to doing this, so I'm learning as I go. The main fuse box harnesses the power for all of the auxiliary lighting on the car. Headlights, fog lights, sea lamps, all the, all the fun light up stuff up here, uh, as well as a couple other of accessories. So when the time comes, we're gonna have to, we either use this fuse box and retrofit or create another fuse panel or fuse block uh, for headlights, fog lights, lamps, everything else that is auxiliary up here, horns, all of that stuff. Uh, some of the stuff can go, but most of this stuff is body harness. I'm still gonna take it out for right now, but, oh my God, what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> oh, what have I done? So I'm not too concerned quite yet because I feel like if any, if I ha absolutely have to later on, I can definitely put this piece back in. I can definitely reroute all that wiring up here. Uh, a lot of the wiring just kind of routed down, hung out down there, ran across, routed over here. Cause a lot of it is body harness stuff, but some of it can go, not all of it, some of it can go. For the most part, of, I kind of know what each plug does, so I'm not too concerned. I still want to get this out, so this main harness runs behind the fender up into the car. I think I'm going to come back to this side. I think we're going to start over here on this side. I think we're going to just kick it with this easier looking harness for the time being right now. Let's pull out the engine harness. Let's do that one. So I'm going to get going to town pulling all this out. After I get like the majority of it out of the way, uh, I'll kind of update you guys. But glove box is going to come out. Side panel on the dash is going to come out. I'm just going to get out as much of the way as I can. I'd like to avoid pulling the dash completely out of this car, but if we have to, we will. I've made quite the mess. 
I have made such a mess. Oh my God, everything is a mess. So working on getting the dash out right now, just because there's so much like wiring down there. I'm sorry, it's like super dark in here too. I don't have a whole lot of like, I'm gonna buy some interior lights to work in here a little bit, but the, uh, the lower portion down there, that sucked. Well, that, that actually wasn't that bad. That was pretty easy. The radio sucked. I had to drop the airbag out that goes between your legs, the gooch bag. Uh, I had to pull the gooch bag out. The <laughs> radio ECU controls are out. Top dash screen is out. Uh, lower piece here, gauge bezel is out. All the lower trim down here is out. I'm going around trying to hunt for screws and everything right now to try to pull this dash out. So back to the time lapse, but what the, what the hell have I gotten myself into? I have no idea what I'm doing. It's all right though, because like always, we'll figure it out. We'll figure out how to do this, you guys. I'm a little terrified. Totally not stressed. Not stressed at all. Just of my 2017 STI and God knows how many pieces at this point. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna do this. I knew this was gonna be a struggle getting into it. Um, real note though, like all of you guys out there who think engine swaps are just like throw it in and you're done. This is all the behind like the behind the scenes back door stuff that you don't see a lot of is wiring. Just wait, we haven't even gotten to like the nest of wiring yet. Once we get through like this dash, then I'll show you guys the wiring, but <laughs> there's a there's a lot of it. So this has turned into a removing wiring video into a whole removing the dash video because this is absolutely awful to do. Uh, we have the dash pretty much out for the most part. Like we can lift it up 90%. Matt, huge shout out to Matt for coming out and helping. Uh, there's two screws that are holding those two center vents to the dash. And then there's one over here on this side that holds that vent right there to the dash itself. That's literally all that's stopping us at this point from removing this dash. Uh, he was saying what they used to do with Subaru, something like that is just remove the whole dash bar. I didn't really want to do that um so of course the harder the harder route has been chosen so i have a plan i feel like if i go in there with a very long screwdriver while matt lifts it up i can get the screws out i can get them out i think because those are the two main ones that are stopping us and then the side vent over here so we're gonna play around with this a little bit more and really try to get this dash out because once the dash comes out that opens up all of the wiring and everything for us so that way we can start pulling out what we don't need and what we have to set aside for later on when we get the new ecu in and we can start wiring that up but for now the dash has to come out huge pain huge pain 10 out of 10 not enjoying it I can't I can't do this while listening to Scotty Kilmer's dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> I think all right, so I have I think I can get to the screws. If you hold the dash up, I have a very long Phillips head. I think I can finoodle it in there <laughs> and we can get the screws out. Three Phillips head screws that are stopping us. We can get them out. We're gonna find another one of these cars and take the dash out right and do a video on that. <laughs> this is the this is the right way. Ooh, Amazon's here with my package. Matt, what's in the package? Gold tape. Got some gold tape for the BRZ to help with heat soak. No more heat soak. We'll probably still heat soak, but less heat soak. All right, I'm gonna keep going on this dash. Absolute nightmare to get out of the car. Huge shout out to Matt for helping me pull this thing out because I would not have been able to do this by myself. Uh, there's like two screws for the center vent that go like right up in there that bolt to this, that the, they were just, they were a nightmare to get out. You also have like two hidden screws on the backside of the vents to be able to get this thing out. I know I didn't film us getting this out, but there was just, there was no room in here to try to like get a camera in here and film with us. Cause I mean, it's a small garage and we don't have a lot of room, but this is what's uh, behind all your dash. A lot of wires, a lot of stuff. So I was going to go through and start pulling all the wiring out of this car, but it's Melanie's birthday today. So I don't want to be spending too much time in the garage um, just because we're going out to dinner for her birthday and whatnot. And I got some orders to pack and ship for you guys. So uh, I do want to cover this stuff a little bit more and then I think we'll wrap it up. I'm not entirely sure. This took entirely too long removing this dash. Well, it didn't take too long, but removing the dash was a nightmare. This probably took us, I don't know, three hours to get the dash entirely out. So you've got like these vents here, you've got one on this side, one on that side, and they both run to the center vent section. This piece, so right up there, those two ears on it, there's two screws that are bolted from these 
onto the dash and it's a night it's an absolute nightmare because you've got to like lift up the dash and then you've got to go in from the bottom and try to snake your hand up here but there's no room because there's a wiring harness and the and like a bar behind the wiring harness that like get in your way on trying to pull it out but oh my god oh my god that was not enjoyable at all we are going to be fully removing the airbags out of the car i think i actually might do that today depending on how far they go up behind here um there's no point keeping the srs system in the car it's just it's extra weight that we don't need and the srs system isn't going to work after the swap anyway so pulling out the airbags is something that we're definitely going to be doing the entire airbag module right here can come out of the car as well uh, anything airbag related is just gonna end up coming out of the car. I think I've taken all the, I mean, the dash airbags came out. I'll show you guys what the dash airbag actually looks like because it's kind of cool. So here's the airbag that hangs up behind your dash. Actually, let's remove this real quick. I wanna get it out. Airbag. I don't trust myself having this in the garage. Uh, this is essentially a mini bomb. Oh God, dude, that would hurt. It would save your life, but it would hurt, man. Getting smacked by that thing, though, it's like super compact in there. I feel like I shouldn't be doing this, but I am. Oh God. Ugh. So I do wanna give you guys some idea on how to take all of this out. So what I started doing is the entire shifter console right up front, popped all that off. This like lower area just pulls right out also. For the radio and the climate controls, it's a little bit annoying. There's like a 10 millimeter up here, up here, and then there's one like on each side of the radio. You gotta pull all those out, then the entire radio can come off. For the cluster, you gotta remove the gauge cluster first. As you see up here, there's the two front screws and then the two rear screws. There's also like two more, one right there, another one right there, and then the gauge cluster comes out. There's like two brackets in here you gotta pull off. There's a screw here. There's one here on this side, the exact same thing. One right here, one right up there. You do need to pull off the tweeter speakers up top uh, to get the glove box out. It's just screws going all the way around this and the glove box insert pops right out. Uh, and then a couple other miscellaneous screws here and there. The worst ones that you guys are gonna face if you try to pull this dash out is gonna be like right up in the top. Those two that hold on that like Y piece for the vent, 100% the worst part to get out. But once you get that out, you can pretty much finoodle the dash out and it comes right out. And then you're left with this mess that I now have. So like I said, I was gonna start pulling wiring today, but there's a lot more that still needs to come out from in here. Uh, I think I'm gonna try to get the ECU ordered in the next like, couple of weeks. So that way we can start doing the wiring stuff on this. With this fuse box and everything, I'll save the actually pulling out all the wiring harnesses for the next video, uh, just to show you guys like how much wiring there actually is, because there is a ton of wiring in this car that needs to come out that we're simply not gonna be using anymore. There's just a lot that we still need to do to this to get it stripped down. Um, it's not as easy as you guys think it is. I need to order some hood pins also, because since we are moving our radiator up here underneath the core support, the core support's gonna be relocated. We're gonna lose our hood latch. So I'll probably get those ordered actually pretty soon. So that way we can actually like shut the hood and latch it again we'll probably i don't know where we're gonna do we'll probably do it like up on these pieces or something like that but we'll save that for another video for now so yeah in the next video we're gonna pull out all the airbags uh we're gonna pull out the airbag srs system the sensors um i might swap to a different steering wheel at that point and go with a quick release if i want to since we don't have any airbags any airbag systems in the car uh, i do really like that type ra one but since the airbag's not functional and we're not gonna be able to retain any of the button features on the steering wheel. I might just swap it out for a steering wheel. It's a lot more simple. It would also mean that we can clean up a lot more wiring in here that we're not gonna be using. So that is what I got for you guys on this one. We didn't make as much progress as I would have liked to. Um, that dash really held us up and stopped us from really like pursuing onward and getting more of the wiring out. But it's all right, like I said, uh, I'm on a, like a quick timeline today. I got a lot of stuff to do. So now that we have the dash out that gives us full access to all the wiring behind the dash, the dash bar, um, the heater controls, everything. So anything that we're not gonna keep for the swap, it's getting stripped out. But if you guys like the video, if maybe this helps you guys out, just to uh, see a little more of the stripped down stuff, go ahead and like the video, you know what to do. Smat, hit it, dance on it, tap it. I don't care, kick it, do something with the like button. Just make, make it change colors. Just like the video, you know, I'm going way, too, way, too, way too far with this one. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, hit your boy up because I looked at the analytics and only 30% of you guys who actually watch the channel are actually subscribed to it. So if you're one of the other like 70%, Help your boy out here. Hit the hit the subscribe button. I'll put it in one of these corners. No idea which one yet. But with that, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, homies. <laughs>